Hello guys, good morning. It's Dave Santarelli from Santarelli Trading Exchange and BreakingChartAlerts.com. Let's get started today and uh, let's go over the top news here. I've got a few things happening I want to check out. Uh, so let's take a look and see what's happening. So first off, guys, Apple is nearing $3 trillion market cap. Uh, Apple shares rose 1.1% in the pre-market after J.P. Morgan Securities raised the price target uh, for the stock to a street high of $210 per share upping it from $180, reiterating it as a top pick going into 2022. Next one here, Pfizer, BioNTech, and Arena Pharmaceuticals. First off, uh, Pfizer, BioNTech, they came out, said that a third shot, a booster shot, is really great uh, against the Omicron variant here. And then also Pfizer this morning announced they're buying Arena Pharmaceuticals, uh, the drug maker, uh, for $100 per share or about $6.7 billion. Arena Pharmaceuticals soared 93.1% in pre-market trading uh, following this news. Next one is Peloton, finally getting a little climb here in pre-market hours. The fitness equipment maker rebounded 2.6% in pre-market after falling over 7% over the past three trading sessions. Uh, Patel, uh, Peloton released an ad featuring actor Chris Noth uh, promoting the value of the company's equipment after his character's death in the Sex and the City uh, reboot following a Peloton ride. Next one up is going to be Harley Davidson Hog. The motorcycle maker stock surged 11.7% in the pre-market after it announced that it's merging with Livewire electric motorcycle unit you know, with the special purpose acquisition company, which is a SPAC. Livewire will be an enterprise value of about $1.8 billion and will trade on the New York Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol LVW. Next, guys, uh, tomorrow's a big day, Tuesday and Wednesday. Investors will uh, likely be on the Fed's latest two-day policy meeting, which kicks off on Tuesday. After the meeting wraps up on Wednesday, the Fed is expected to announce that it will speed up the pace of tapering its asset purchasing program. So that brings us into what is tapering. There's a lot of new traders here. Tapering refers to the policies that modify traditional central bank activities. Tapering efforts are primarily aimed at interest rates and in controlling the investor uh, perceptions of the future direction of interest rates. Tapering efforts may include changing the discount rate or reserve requirements for central banks. Tapering may also involve the slowing of asset purchases, which technically leads to the reversal of quantitative easing policies implemented by a central bank. Tapering is instituted after quantitative easing policies have accomplished the desired effect of stimulating uh, and stabilizing the economy. So it's going to be very important over the next two days. So now, what does that mean? What's the takeaways of Fed tapering? So let's Let's take a look here. Tapering is the theoretical reversal of quantitative easing policies uh, intended to stimulate economic growth. Tapering refers specifically to the initial reduction in the purchasing of the accumulation of central bank assets. As a result of their dependence on sustained monetary stimulus under quantitative easing, the financial markets may experience a downturn in response to tapering. This is known as taper tantrum. Taper tantrums may lead central banks to uh, promptly reaccelerate asset purchases and essentially reverse the po uh, process of tapering. All right, so let's go over the top market movers here and uh, see what's moving. So. As you guys can see, Arena Pharmaceuticals is one of the largest movers, up about 90% here in pre-market hours. Uh, BLU, that's been uh, going across CNBC all morning here as I've been watching that. Uh, Bellis Health there up over 31% right now and continuing to climb. Uh, the other ones you see on there on the gainers are Hogg, Harley-Davidson, and really that's it on the top uh, movers there. As far as the losers go, uh, you guys can see just, just a few, really nothing, anything we watched there, uh, some smaller uh, penny stocks. So what to watch here? Let's take a look and see what's moving on Wall Street Bets and Reddit this morning. So right here, as you guys can see, we got uh, Apple. As Apple nears a $3 trillion market cap, it's at 182 right now. We got Apple, Tesla uh, moving there. So we got that moving. We got Disney, Amazon climbing. So keep an eye on Apple, Tesla, and some of these EV uh, companies here today as well. So now let's take a look at the top upgrades and uh, 
look at the top upgrades, downgrades, and initiations for the day here. So, so far, not too many have been coming in. Uh, today is December 13th. So, as you guys can see here, we got Pfizer. Pfizer was upgraded uh, currently at $52.80. It was upgraded from $52 to $60 by UBS. You can see NetApp. That was also upgraded by JP Morgan Chase from $108 to $110. Uh, shares currently at around $90 a share. And then you can see here also uh, GoPro. GoPro was up to current price $10.66. It was upgraded from $11 to $13.50 and upgraded from neutral to outperform rating. Let's take a look at the downgrades now. Uh, so not too much here. Merck was downgraded from $98 down to $76 from a buy to neutral by UBS there. And uh, and Timken here, uh, that one was downgraded by Goldman Sachs from $84 down to $73 from buy to neutral. And um, really that's it that I like on the uh, upgrades and downgrades there. So now let's take a look at the initiations here and see what's happening. So right now we have... One of them that I've been seeing here coming across is Braze. You guys can see current price $68.78. Uh, Barclays initiated a price target of $95, initiates an overweight rating. Uh, and really, other than that, it's just BRZ, I mean, Braze again down there, Canaccord, Genuity. You know, they upped it from uh, to $85. Stock's currently at $68.78. They upgraded it from uh, initiation to a buy rating with an $85 price target. So, guys, that's going to be it to start the day here. I'm watching here. As I'm looking at my watch list here, I'm seeing a few other ones moving. I see DWAC on the move. I see Hertz up 1.32%. Uh, we also have Under Armour up 1.5% here this morning. Micron's up almost 2% MU. And uh, we got a few others that are moving here that we're going to be taking a look at on the live morning session. So if you guys want to come join us, come join us, BreakingChartAlerts.com, uh, and sign up. Save 35% off any plan there. Use promo code WINTER. Once you guys sign up, make sure you go to your app store, download Breaking Chart Alerts. Uh, it's free, and then you can log in with your account on there. Come join us in the trade room, and I will see you guys live shortly. Hope everyone has a great day. Let's look and watch for this uh, monetary uh, policy here with the Fed meeting on Tuesday, Wednesday, and we should see some moves on Wednesday, Thursday there that we could take advantage of with some day trade. So see everyone in the trade room. Have a great day. Good luck today, and uh, see you later.